Hello there, Gladiola Elementary. I hope you are all doing well and starting off your Monday in a great way. Today, to continue our um, cultural awareness project and to continue our celebration of Italian American Heritage Month, I, Miss Anna, am bringing you our second read aloud of the month, and that is All the Way to America by Dan Iacarino. And this book is a story of a big Italian family and a little shovel. My great grandfather, Michel Lacarino, grew up on a farm in Sorrento, Italy. When he was a boy, his father gave him a little shovel so he could help tend the zucchini, tomatoes, and strawberries that his family sold in the village. They worked very hard but were always very poor. And so, when he was a young man, Michel left Italy and went all the way to America in search of new opportunities. Work hard, his father told him, handing him the little shovel but remember to enjoy life. And never forget your family, his mother said. She hugged him and gave him their few family photographs and her recipe for tomato sauce. It was a long journey and how different New York was from his tiny village in Italy. Like many immigrants passing through Ellis Island at the turn of the last century, he was given a new name. Michel Lacarino was now Michael Iacarino. He was happy to be in America, but never forgot his family in Sorrento. Friends from home helped each other in this new country. Michael fell wor found work in a bakery owned by a man who was also from Sorrento. Michael polished his little shovel till it shined and used it to measure out flour and sugar. Michael met Adeline and soon they were married. They found an apartment in a neighborhood called Little Italy where many other recent immigrants lived as well. They had five children and did their best to teach them to work hard, enjoy life and love their family. Michael started his own business as a pushcart peddler and continued to use his little shovel, this time to measure out dried fruits and nuts. His oldest son was named Anello, but everyone called him Dan. Back then, children often had to leave school to help support their families. So from the age of 12, Dan worked for his father. When Dan grew up, he married Helen. These are my grandparents. Together, Dan and Helen opened a market. They sold all sorts of wonderful Italian food. Now, the little shovel belonged to Dan, and he used it to measure out beans, macaroni, and olives. Dan always dreamed of living in the country, so he and Helen bought a house with a big yard and raised a family there. He loved having everyone over for Sunday dinners. Dan's love of cooking led him to open a restaurant. He made pizza, eggplant parmigiana, and spaghetti, all with his grandmother's tomato sauce, of course. Dan's son, Mike, would help out in the kitchen after school. By now, the family was so large that celebrations were held at the restaurant everyone would come together to talk, laugh, and of course, eat. When Mike was a young man, he married Elaine. These are my parents. Mike opened a barber shop and he used a little shovel to pour rock salt over the sidewalk when it, whenever it snowed. I grew up in a big house in the suburbs, not far from my grandparents. We had a garden in the backyard, and I would help my father tend to the tomato plants. 
Every year, my parents would take my brother, my sister, and me to the Feast of San Genaro in Little Italy. We watched the parade, listened to Italian folk songs, and ate hot zapoli. I loved New York City. So when I grew up, I moved back to the city where my great-grandfather, Michel, had lived. Work hard, my father told me as he handed me the little shovel, but remember to enjoy life. And don't forget to call your family, said my mother. I did work hard, and after a few years, I became an author and illustrator, creating books for children. Then I married Sue, and soon our son was born. He is named Michael, after my father and great-grandfather. Now I watch Michael and his sister Lucy work on, us, work on our small terrace with the very same shovel that my great-great-grandfather brought all the way to America. We grow zucchini, tomatoes, and strawberries. I do my best to teach them to work hard, enjoy life, and love their family. The end. Thank you so much for joining me, my Gladiola friends, and I hope you've all enjoyed the story of Dan Yacarino, the author of this book, who has showed how his great-great-grandfather came all the way from Italy to America, and they were able to bring home some traditions and continue uh, the love of enjoying their, their life, sharing time with families, and of course, passing down that amazing and useful little shovel. Thank you, my friends, and have a good one.